JD Nigel, Word of Truth. Huntington Beach, California, world famous surf city. All praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, and the Holy Spirit. Gives us this power, wisdom, knowledge, and ability to understand the scriptures in these last days. The seals are being opened. All praises, honor, and glory. All praises. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Get up and find motivation. Wow, we're in for a treat today. <laughs> Again. So, <laughs> I figured something out. Talking about Christianity is, um, is way more popular than talking about Israel. I guess because Israel has been defiled. I'm not going to go too much into that, if you know what I mean. Israel has been defiled. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how you can defile something that's already... So beat up. Israel is so beat up already. Hold on. Slock you. Brushing your teeth on, on camera? How rude. Rude dude. Um, <laughs> it's funny how... Ah, the Bible is so awesome, completely fucking awesome. I love this book, man. It's 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 the Word of God, and it's so true and it's so consistent, consistent. Um, so what we're going into the last in today's three videos. Today's triumph, three videos. We have one for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Spirit. Maybe that's why I do three videos a day. <laughs> There's always reasons for these things, people. It's like, I'm a little slow on the uptake, but it always, the truth will always come out sooner or later. And that's, I think that's what's brutal for people that hang with me, even you brothers and sisters. Is um, you're like some of the things I say you hear better than I do, and you're like I don't like that, and then later on it comes back, and it smacks you on the face, and you're like fuck, he doesn't even know what he's saying. Sometimes I don't. I'm like, the Holy Spirit is saying it, and I think um certain parts of our dark spirit. We all have darkness, people. We're all dirty rags, so don't, don't get offended. That's where a lot of people go off to. Oh, I'm a Christian. Uh, I, I'm, I'm saved. I'm, I don't sin. I'm. Dirty rags. We're all dirty rags. We all fall short. Put that at the top of your list of belief systems. You are a dirty rag and you and you definitely fall short. Ow. Ow. Yeah, well, the truth hurts. Um, the Bible says so, so don't argue with me, argue with the Bible. Um, so let's get into this because this is like, I kept reading, um, we're in John. We we're talking about that we can't be snatched out of the Father's hands. And see, oh, how do I put this so that it makes sense? Spirit heavenly things are not easy to teach, explain. And so when you're here on this channel, you're like, fuck, I don't get it. He's talking in circles or whatever, whatever discourse didn't 
reach your the proper part of your spirit or whatever and I didn't lay it out well enough for it to happen that way I'm doing my best okay we talked about it in the last two videos when this blood this lamb this beautiful perfect God man born of a woman so that could understand what it means to be flesh had to come through the matrix had to come into the world the womb is the matrix these are things that are true i'm not just fucking giving you some new age mumbo jumbo you come into the world you come born of a woman we're all born of a woman all of us every single solitary man woman and child we come through the matrix he comes in as a perfect lamb he's the lamb of god he's the son of god he is the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. He's the only Son of God. He's the only one. That's what makes him so special. He's different. So, what does? how do you build this temple? Here he comes. He's, he's here to do a job. What job is that? To save us. Save us from what? Save us from ourselves. We forget who we are. We, we're, we forget that we're sons of God. And I already read this, so I'm not going to claim that I didn't know what I'm talking about. That I went, oh, I don't do that. If I go, oh, I did, I never read this. I never read it. But I read through this, and it, it's, it says it in this next verses, red letter. It talks about how we build this temple of we're atoned, we're justified, we're sanctified. He can't pluck us out of our ha his hands. It all starts with unblemished, uncorrupted, perfect lamb of God. And that's where black Hebrew Israelism needs someone to crack their head wide open and leave them in the street and then piss on them and shit in their mouth. Because that's what they deserve for this blasphemy. And that's probably what they're going to get. Not my business, but um, I, know, I know a dumb fucking idiot when I see one and these guys are fucking wicked. So, that being said, you don't believe that Joseph is the father of Jesus Christ. It's um, that's a harsh, that's a harsh, that's a harsh punishment to believe. So we're we're talking about he won't let he won't be we won't be plucked out of his hand because he's in us. My father gave them me. What's that mean? We were given the Holy Spirit. That's how we know. That's another reason how we know. That there's three in one. The Father sent the Son, sent the Spirit. That's all the same Spirit. And now that Spirit's in us. And I'll prove it to you in the next verses. It's all going to follow. And I hate to be such an arrogant little prick, but I'm not here j dancing around on the stage doing Christianese. I'm trying to teach you the Bible. Come on, sir. What a shame that no one wants to know. Coffee stayed... Coffee stayed kind of warm today. Fucking weather, man. I hope you guys aren't burning up wherever you're at because it's fucking perfectly 66 degrees right now. It's... Let me check. Hold on. Beep, beep. Six, 64, 66. Just fucking can't even get out there with the t-shirt on without being cold. So, Heavenly Father, bless my brothers and sisters, <laughs> my friends and neighbors, the strangers that are here visiting. We're all searching for you. We love you. We honor you. We're, we're looking for you. We're in awe of you. We see you everywhere, but we and we know you're close, but we want to know you better. We want to we want you to enter into our hearts through your son Jesus Christ so that we can follow him back to you. Amen. Hey brother. Um so John 10 and the where this all started was with my father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my hand. 
I and my Father are one. When we have the Holy Spirit, do we have the Spirit of the Heavenly Father? Yeah. That's why we get angry. That's why we, we hate sin. That's why we want to hurt people that um, don't honor us and honor our God because we are that God. That's why I fucking hate to har. And anyone else who twists the word of my father and the word of my, my brother into a bunch of nonsense, I can't stand it. So the thing is, I have to repent from that, that wickedness because I don't, I don't want anyone to be destroyed either. Except the ones that are, need to be destroyed. And there's, we're coming down to those last days. He said, don't think it's odd that you're going to be in trials and you're going to see false prophets popping up like fucking weeds in, a, in your lawn. They're everywhere. It's like, what? Very, very confusing out here. But anyway, it says, I and my father are one. Let me just keep reading. Then we'll talk about it. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him again and again. Again and again and again, these people are taking up stones against us. They're trying to knock us senseless and, and take the life out of us. And there's probably we're probably going to get so worried that that's going to happen. We will end up in, dead in the street. So the fuck what? Who cares? And the Jews answered him saying, For good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy, and because that thou being a man makest yourself God. Listen carefully to this, people. What did the Jews say to him? It's not that you're not doing good. We like that you heal people. We like that you feed people. We like that you're sweet-hearted we like that. It's that you you say that you're God. Well, what part of that don't you get, niggas? That is God. I go to the widow. I go to the poor. I go to the to the hurt. I go to the sad. I go. I didn't come for those who are healthy. I came to heal those who are sick. didn't come for those who are healthy. I, I come for those who are sick. Jesus answered them, red letter, the blood speaking. What did he say? Jesus are saying, you say you're God. We, that's blasphemy. What did you, what was Jesus' answer? Got the trash truck right here. The Lord said, is it not written in your law? I said, you are God's. Isn't it written in your law? I said, you are God's. Red letter. If he called them God's, Talking about the Heavenly Father. If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken. Good point. The scripture cannot be broken. The things that I'm saying are going to continue to build and build. And it's going to before. It's already been told. I'm helping build a un, just indestructible temple that will last forever. It's going. It's ne the word is never going to end. How's it say it? Um, the the earth and all the things of the earth will pass away, but my world word will not perish or pass away. 
And that's why it's better to be here than to listen in to some fool talk Christianese to you or somebody tell you about some harpazo or you got to repent or that Joseph is a son. This is, I'm telling you people, this is not, I'm not trying to brag. I'm just saying I have this responsibility and you should take advantage of it. I, I mean, it's a, <laughs> just a suggestion. I'm teaching the Bible, not just talking about it. If you call them gods unto whom the word of God came and the scripture cannot be broken, say ye of him whom the Father has sanctified and sent into the world, sent. Sent. How many times do I have to tell you I've been sent here, I've been cast down, I'm here on a mission, there's a job to do, we're on a mission. They say we're on a mission. Ziggy Marley. Um, sent in the world, thou blasphemest because I said, I am the son of God. How come you black Hebrew Israelites are saying, I'm blaspheming when I say I'm the son of God. When I told you, my father told you already, I said, are ye not gods? You are gods. Small g. We're God's under the unblemished lamb who sacrificed himself to let us know that we are spiritual beings, not fucking. Not douchebag fucking prisoners of a prison planet. Prison plane. Definitely not a planet. This place is barred. We cannot get out. This physical body will never leave this world. Never, ever, until we leave the body behind, glorify our body, and get the fuck out of here. You want to hold on to the body? You want to think that you're going to get your body and your spirit's going to get taken up? No, man. Come on, sir. So, you want to you say I'm blaspheming because I say I'm the son of God? He is the son of God. He's not the son of Joseph. He's not the son of man. If I do not the works of my father, believe me not. If I do not the works of my father, believe me not. If I'm not doing what the book says, if I'm not telling you the truth, if I'm not sent to say the same things my brother said, you know Solomon's my brother for real, for real. For real. The Lord told me you're Adonijah. I was the brother that fucked up. I was the brother that fucked up that had to be put to death by my brother. So do, do, do you think I might not know these things? If I do not the works of my brother, believe me not. If I don't do the things my brother has sent me to do, you don't have to believe me. Oh, you you cuss. You can't be a Christian. You say fuck. You say shit. You talk about vaginas and penises. Yeah, okay. That's going to stop. That's going to stop me. That's another thing that these idiots say. I mean, even the guy I like, Days of Noah. Well, she doesn't have the mouth of a Christian. Well, it's not her mouth that gave her away, dude. It's the way she was saying it. It's the thing she was saying. And so, some people... Okay, anyway. But if I do, though you believe not me, believe the works. That ye may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. But if I do, though you believe me not, if... If I'm doing the works, though you believe it's not, I'm not the brother of Solomon. If you don't believe that, believe the works. Believe what I'm saying. You don't have to believe that I'm Adonijah. You don't have to believe that I'm one of his, of Benjamin, of Judah, of Bethlehem, of Fred. You don't have to believe that. But believe in what I'm telling you in the book. Believe my teaching. Believe that I was sent to teach you. Believe that. 
Because if you can believe that, you can believe that I, I was sent from the Father and that you are part of that family. I wouldn't, you wouldn't be here listening to me if you weren't part of the family. You'd be over there listening to J.P. Dunamis going, oh, I love good dancing, bro. I like the way you fall down and get back up and... It's all show. It's no, it's no go. Let me see what I got. Fucking 20. Let me finish this. I might come back and do another one. It's The weather's shitty. Waves are shitty. Um, but if I do, though you believe not me, believe the works. If You don't have to believe me. Believe what I'm saying. Um, that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. My brother is in me. Therefore, therefore, they sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hands. So are we going to be able to escape out of these black Hebrew Israelites, um, TD Snakes, Creflo Dollar, the Joker Joyce Meyer, Joel Osterstein? He's grinding you up. You're, you're in the blender, man. You're in the J Osterstein. Um, and they went away again beyond the Jordan into the place where John first baptized. And there he abode. So... Jesus went back to where there was good spirit. He's going into the synagogues to try and get sick people well. He went back to John because that's a safe place. And many resorted onto him and said, John did no miracle. But all the things that John spoke of this man were true. So, do you believe Jesus? Do you believe the things I say about my brother? He should because I'm telling you he's coming. He's on his way to come figure out a way. He has it planned. We don't know how it's going to happen, but he's going to, he has us, he has us because we have him and he's going to reconcile us back to the father because we're all family. Are you part of the family? Do you believe that I am sent? As the son of David? Can you believe that? Can you believe I'm telling you the truth? Not, not my business. All I can do is, is say these are the things. Just like Jesus said in Red Letter. These are the things I say. And these are the things that the book says. Can you, can you follow? Can you follow? Or not? Your, your, your call. So... I guess that's it. I'm probably not going to do another one. I might study a little bit. If I find something interesting about atonement and um, uh, what do they call it? It's you, you're predestined. You're, you're the elect. You can't be, you're not going to be fooled by these idiots out here. So um, let me see what I got. Three, two more minutes. All right, I just turned the page, and this this will finish it. Um, this is when Jesus assures Martha of the resurrection through Lazarus' death. She she he made Lazarus 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 rise. Um, Jesus said unto her, "Thy brother shall rise again." Your brother will rise again. Are you my brother? And Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection on the last day. And Jesus said unto her, That's right, because I am the resurrection and the life. He that believe in me, though he were dead, he shall live. And whosoever, whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never believe. I just and whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die believe thou this 
same story, same ending, same verbiage. If you believe in the sacrificial lamb, if you believe in this perfected sacrifice, this lamb without blemish, the Holy Spirit enters you, and that's why these black Hebrew Israelites say it's Joseph is the father, because that's the Holy Spirit will not enter a vessel that's talking that kind of nonsense. J.D. Nigel, word of truth. I love you, believers. Stay in the truth, man. You've got to listen carefully and diligently for these lies because these are the things that are easy to grasp onto. That when you when you get to heaven and you, the Lord opens your hand, you'll have nothing at all. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth, I'm out.